And this is the Mercedes-Benz Rangers postgame show on a night where the Battle of the Hudson lived up to the battle and provided some bonus hockey instead. And the result, the Rangers win a fourth straight. The Devils' 11-game road winning streak is over. Quite a night on Garden Ice as we welcome you inside our Delta MSG studios. John Giannone, Henrik Lundqvist, and Dave Maloney. Never in doubt, Hank? <laughs> Never in doubt. <laughs> At 3-1 down, what were you thinking? Um, well, it was really a turning point. Eager making the save on the penalty shot, but it was a game that felt like it was getting away from the Rangers a little bit early on in the second period. But the way they battled back and responded after that save says a lot about this mm -hmm. team right now. It, mm -hmm. it feels like they're starting to gain a lot of confidence, especially coming off of last week, how they played on the road. And uh, obviously for them to get going in this season they need to start winning at home so this was a big game against a really good team sure was fifth home win of the season for the rangers and they did that comeback with two goals in second seven seconds but first things first the last goal of the night it was scored 215 into overtime dave and it's philip heedle who gets the winner left shot from the right side yeah it certainly was after the devils had had the puck for about a minute 45 and really didn't do anything with the puck you know you often see teams with possession playing possum there was no possum here comes up ice from miller nice little chip pass but who do you think is going to be the catalyst to the play panarin stays with it stays with it and bang off the perfect shot just enough off the inside of the post, so it goes back one, two. You know, not even a tenth of a second. It's off the Kind of looks like the goal the other night. Yeah, exactly. You know, he comes pretty deep down. He sucks everybody down, and then he finds the guy up high for the shot. And Creates the room, right? He's so patient. And it's, he knows exactly what he wants to do there, but he's... I mean, his goal is really just to suck down the Devils player down low to open up for the shot. Well played. Yeah, that's, that's the thing with he and Fox. They play the game, they execute the game before it gets executed. You know, you see him come in, take a quick, I think they do. I think the great guys, or great goalies, take a picture, <laughs> take a picture before things happen. Mm -hmm. And he comes down, and now he's got the room, to your point, you drive back shot win assists in six straight games for Panarin now 10 assists in that span for Philip Heedle his sixth of the year is the game winner we head to the Rangers dressing room moments ago the reaction from the game winning goal scorer with Michelle Gingras big overtime win for you guys take us through this game for you and what it, what it meant for this team it means a lot uh, great comeback from the team we showed our character and uh, good two points what did you see in the overtime goal nice pass from our Timmy and I just shoot and score goal for you to bounce back twice the way that you guys did, you kind of touched on it character-wise. What does it do for a team's confidence to come back in the way you did to respond tonight like that? It's great, yeah. especially after that game, what we had before, what we had the stretch when we were losing the games, what we should win. So now it feels good, but we have to keep going and keep going and uh, win the streak. How do you build on this four straight wins, the longest win streak of the season? What do you do to take away from this one? Just keep doing the things what we do second and third period. Uh, first period wasn't the best, but how like I said, we come back. Uh, we started to play our game what we wanted to play, and we deserve to win. How much do you say play the way? When you say play the way you want to play, like what do you think you did better after that? We got. Uh, we had a lot of turnovers first period. Uh, we, we were losing easy pucks and uh, we get it out from our game in second third period. Uh, in second period, uh, we were we had a better forecheck. We started playing uh, with higher tempo and and we were forcing them to make turnovers and yeah, uh, that's the game what we need to play and and that's what we did second and th uh, third period. And that's a winning formula, according to Filipino Rangers now 6-6-4 six, six, and four at home this season. Well, he talked a lot about the comeback, guys, and the comeback doesn't happen if the Rangers don't score those two goals in seven seconds in the latter stages of the second period. Let's go inside the film room, powered by CDW and HP. Dave, show us how the Rangers were able to score two in that <laughs> little spot. Well, span. it was wonderful stuff. And the power play, you know, you ask your goaltender to make a save, he does the penalty shot. You ask your power play to deliver, and here's what they do. They go to work. Now Panarin, no surprise, we just talked about how he creates space and buys time. So what you're going to notice then is the Devils box gets down deeper. So there's going to be room up top. So when that top of that box moves, there's all kinds of room. So there's no pressure. So there's no pressure on Zabanajad or Fox. Now again, they'll play a little ticky tack here, right? Just eyeing it up as Fox and all the way through. Now the eye formation in front with Kreider and Trocheck. 
If Trocek doesn't get it, Kreider's probably getting it. Just a wonderfully executed power play. It's going to be, take seven seconds. A really good move here is Miller right there, and he's going to force it into the offensive zone. What he started, he's not going to finish it with the goal, but what a brilliant pass. Now, again, Kako's facing. He's on his off wing. Down goes just over the stick, and, well, it's seven seconds from the middle of the ice, so this didn't take long getting to the back of the net from there. So, And this is the kids' rumble-tumble to celebrate. <laughs> Watch like those puppies. skates. They're like puppies out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sixth power play goal for Vincent Trocek, sixth goal of the season for Capo Caco. Just like that, it was 3-3. But what preceded it was the turning point in the game. It was with seven minutes and ten seconds left in the second period, and it was a penalty shot. And it was saved by Igor Shesterkin, who stopped 26 on the night, the final 17 after it was 3-1. It was 3-1 at this point. Henrik, what did you see from Shesterkin against Jack Hughes that allowed him to make this save? Well, this is a trend you see around the league now where players go far out to the side and their goal as a player you want the goalie to commit and start sliding on the pad and if you watch the replay ego goes down but what he does really well he realizes what uh, Hughes is trying to do so he gets back up on his feet and that helps him to kind of recover to his right but you see all these players around the league that's what they're trying to do they come down on the side and make the goalie to commit, go down on the leg, on the, on the pad, and you start sliding. And once you do that, they want to cut back and back in a four and roof it. But as a goalie, if you can recover, just like Igor did there, you have a chance to recover on that cutback. For us mere mortals or those who have never played goal, how hard is that to do? Especially honestly, honestly, I hated it when players came in yeah, like right. that. And you didn't see it for many years. Mm -hmm. When they started the shootout back in 05, most of the guys went straight down. That's how they used to play it. But over the last five, 10 years, you start to see more and more players do more of this, coming from the side to make the goalie commit early, to go down on the pad. Because as a goalie, when you face a breakaway, what you want to do is come out, set your feet, a couple quick moves, and then you just glide backwards. So you can react either side. The problem is when they come in from the side, you can't really, right. you have to shuffle your feet or you have to start sliding. So you have to commit earlier, which makes it a lot tougher to be patient. So great move by Igor. Yeah. Uh, he, he did commit early, but realized it was too early. So he got back on his feet and that helped him make that save. Yeah, and I think what, what, what you noticed too, to your point, he anchors, almost anchors off that left foot. Mm -hmm. So your, your point, what, so the sliding stops when that left foot gets planted mm -hmm. and he comes back and now he has some leverage with his stick. Yeah. It's really good stuff. 4-3 Rangers the final. Speaking of sticks, we want to remind you that on December 20th, we will have the Garden of Dreams Foundation fundraiser night here on MSG Networks. It's the Rangers and the Pittsburgh Penguins that night. As if you've been with us over the years, you know what that is. It's one of the most important nights we have here at MSG. Henrik has participated in it for nearly 20 years in the organization. Dave, for as long as it's been around. And it is so important and so vital to raise money, especially at this time of year, for those so many who are so much less fortunate than we all are. Part of that is you put up a $100 donation and it makes you eligible for an auction to win a whole bunch of different items. Terrific items. We have one of them here right now. It's a goaltender mm. stick that our boy here in the middle is going to sign. So the authenticity is real here. <laughs> this stick will be part of the auction. Henrik yeah. Lundqvist is going to sign it for us right now. Again, that's coming up on December 20th, the game against the Pittsburgh Penguins. That will be a right. fairly valuable item. And again, there you can go. bid on Garden of Dreams <laughs> Foundation <laughs> fundraiser night. Henrik, awesome. We've got plenty more to come on the Mercedes-Benz Rangers postgame show. 4-3, the final Rangers over the Devils in overtime on Garden Ice. We have plenty more to talk about. Stay with us.